excited to have you join me here today. I'm going to show you how to make this really great um, collage kind of Victorian card. And here's the card that we're going to be making. And um, as I said, it's just super fun and I really hope that you'll join me. Um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to make this card, the supplies that we are going to need are the um, wood grain, All right, so to make this card, the supplies that we are going to need will be the textured impressions embossing folder, and this is the wood grain. We will also need the stamp sets, timeless textures, timeless textures, and then butterfly basics. For the paper, I chose Perfect Plum, and I have already run it through the um, Big Shot and got my wood grain on just one side of it. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11, and it is scored at five and a half. A piece of very vanilla that is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And a scrap piece of very vanilla for our sentiment. Out of the Cupcakes and Carousels embellishment kit, you will be using this frame and then um, this tassel and then we will also be using some lace trim and we will be using um, some jewel basics the pearl and the inks that we will be using will be soft suede always artichoke basic black and a little bit of wisteria wonder so those are the supplies that we will need and then you will need a couple of sponges to um, do some sponge work and that is what we will start with right now. So the first thing that I want to do is sponge the edges of my card to give it a distressed look and I will be using the soft suede. So I've got my soft suede here and then um, also one of my sponges. I um, have cut it into six pieces, those round sponges, put a binder clip on it so I kind of have a handle to work with, and then I ink it up and just kind of run it around my edges. You won't have to do the whole card face because it's going to be mostly covered. All right, I'm gonna set that aside until we come back to it in the meat, and then we'll go ahead and get started on this piece right here. Again, going to do Kind of the same thing, not a lot with the um, soft sway, just a little tiny bit. So just that much with the soft suede and then, um, sorry about that, and then on the frame as well, just kind of just barely, just a little bit. Set that aside, I will need it in a little bit. Now we want the, um, the Always Artichoke. I'm going to do the exact same thing with it. And finally, I've got some Wisteria Wonder. You could also use the Perfect Plum, but I wanted a little bit of a bluer look, and this was the color that gave me that. And we'll come back in again and do the same thing with it. Okay, now we are ready to start building our background to get our collage look. Get your Always Artichoke out again, and then get out Timeless Textures. We're going to start with that. And we will be using this stamp, this stamp, and that's all we're going to do the artichoke in. So use those two stamps for now. What I like to do is get this inked up and then I will take and stamp in one place where it'll be a little bit darker and then go ahead and um, off stamp almost so that you get two different colors and I like to take it different directions as well. And then I want to do it on my frame and give it a little bit of interest. And that's all I want to do with this particular stamp. So I'm going to set it aside and get uh, this one. Again in the um, Always Artichoke and just stamp randomly 
just building texture. All right, go ahead and get out your soft suede, and this time we will be using a small splatter, the small splatter stamp, and the um, postmark out of Butterfly Basics, the one that looks like honeycomb, and build those. So here's my small splatter stamp. I already have it mounted. And I will just kind of randomly go around my edges a little bit. Just put it in different places. My frame. All right. Done with that. And then the honeycomb looking stamp from Butterfly Basics. I want to kind of run this along the edge and give it a little bit of a border. And then I'm going to put it on an edge up here. And you see how we're just building and building and getting just all of these nice um, textures. Now I want the uh, postmark that is in Butterfly Basics and I'm going to put it on there as well. Just again randomly. And you can see I already have another stamp mounted on the other side because I'm going to be using it again in a few minutes. And that is all I want to do with the um, soft suede. So let's move on. So out of timeless textures, we want to get this um, kind of spotted one. And we want the Wisteria Wonder this time. And we're not going to do a whole lot with this, just a little tiny bit. I want to run it along the edge just to kind of pull that color in. And I'm going to put it right along here and maybe a little bit right there. And maybe just an edge up here. So that's what I've got there. And you can see again how we're just building. And that is all we're going to do with the Wisteria Wonder. Now take out your basic black. And we are going to stamp the butterflies at the bottom and the floral section and our butterfly on our um, piece right here. So I'm going to start with, actually I'm going to start with this. And I've got my butterfly already mounted. Sometimes I like to get everybody mounted so I just have to grab them. And I'm going to just center that. Give it a nice press and let the um, paper pull the ink off the stamp. Got a nice crisp image, which I really like that black on there. I think it just pops. I'm going to set that aside until I'm ready to build my card. And now I want to stamp on this. I want to use my butterfly, that uh, small one that's also in the Butterfly Basics. I want to stamp that along the bottom. I'm going to start kind of in the center. It's not going to be perfect. That's fine. And then I want one on either side. So it's three across. And we're done with that. And then we have also in Butterfly Basics this floral one, but I only want to ink it up to about right here. There's no reason to ink the whole thing because it'll look funny on my paper and I'm not using the whole image, so. All right, you can see how I've inked that up just halfway. And I'm going to come on here and I want to bring it down almost to the butterflies. And just give it a nice press. And then go ahead and lift that off. And we are done with our black. Okay, now I want to stamp my sentiment. So I'm using the one out of Butterfly Basics, and I'm going to stamp it first in the Always Artichoke, and I want the full image here at the top. Okay, I'm going to clean off my stamp because I want to use it again. This time, we will stamp it in the soft suede, but I just really need the word butterfly. So I'll flip this around and just stamp my word butterfly and then I'm going to cut that out. 
So that is our stamping. Leave your soft suede open for a moment. Go ahead and get your scissors and let's go ahead and trim this. I'm going to trim this into sections so I want it to cut at there is nothing and then in the caterpillar and then that tells you it is and then going to be a butterfly. Then I need the word butterfly out of my soft suede. And that's all I need in the soft suede. So go ahead and get these all trimmed up. So I've got that. Then I'm going to trim the edges. Trim them kind of tight and right to your edges. You can see that on this one I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of a trim into the tee just because that's how I want it. Now get your sponge that you have your soft suede ink on and then just go ahead and ink your edges and if you, if these bend a little bit while you're inking them that's alright because it gives it more of a distressed look so there's really no problem with that. I try to line them up the way they're going to go on my card so I don't get my words out of order. Okay, now it's time to start building our cards. So go ahead and get your card face and your card base and adhere the adhere it. I recommend using either tear and tape or fast fuse because the embossing leaves not as much of a solid surface and this will just have it adhere a little better. So go ahead and get that on your card face. Give it a nice press so it holds. The next thing you want to do is get some Stampin' Dimensionals and your butterfly and get it um, on the, your card right there. I'm going to use six Stampin' Dimensionals because I um, want it to be uniform and to stick up nicely. I've got my dimensionals on there and I've got the them all peeled off now so I want to put this right almost to the very top edge of my stamped piece. Now we're ready to put the words on it and you can choose whichever side you want your words. I think I'm going to run mine down this side and I will just use fast views for those. Alright, now right here you notice this is going to be a, uh, and we cut off the butterfly, and we're doing it in a little bit different color. That will just go line right up under there and cover the other word. And you notice too that I kind of scattered it back and forth. Now the final thing that I want to do is I want to get some of my lace trim, and I'm going to wrap it around my card and it can go over the butterflies. Also, I wanted to talk to you for just a second about that Cupcakes and Carousels embellishment kit. I purchased it. Um, at first I thought it was a little bit spendy, but then the more I've used it, I've found that it really has turned out to be the perfect, um, perfect set because it has just a little, it has just enough, not a little, but it has just enough of everything. So I got some sequins and these frames, some um, tassels, a couple of different colors of baker's twine, and then um, the some ribbon in it, a couple, some little bows, and I'm, I think it has turned out to be one of my favorite items because it has been, um, like I said, just some of everything, and I've loved it. So, okay, I've got my not tied. Then I just want to slide my tassel on here. Now I am going to just tie a bow. All right, and there you have it. I just love this card. I, I think it's so fun how we can layer and layer and use just a few sets. And I have a couple of different versions of the same card just so you can see how you can use one layout with different stamp sets to really get what you want. So here is this one that I did. Earlier I did one just like it except for I put some pearls on the front of my 
a butterfly and that just works out really well and then here's one in some different colors and I used again the cupcakes and carousels embellishment options and used the baker's twine in it here is one that I did um, without the frame but still really pretty and popped the butterfly word up with a dimensional then finally I have one using the same layout and it's one that's just really masculine and great for guys and um, anyway I really hope that you enjoyed this card and I hope you will try to make one yourself I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this card and if you would like to shop with me and place an order you can do so at the link shown at the end of this video and a list of the products that you will need thank you